Hi team, welcome back to the channel. This is the Inconsequential Runner and in this video we're answering this one question. Can we run with higher than normal cadence to train higher cadence but still do that during an easy run? Meaning, with training higher cadence our easy run doesn't become a moderate run. It stays an easy run. Okay, let's find out. Okay team, I've just watched a video from Ben Parks and if you don't know Ben Parks, look him up on YouTube. If you're into running videos, he is one of the best exponents of putting together running videos. Anyway, um, today's my rest day, not very good at rest days uh, and today's going to be a great example of that. I'm going to be getting out for a run. Now, going back to Ben Parks' video, he talked about improving cadence, which is something I was thinking about last night. Every Sunday night I do some study, I look back at my training diary and see what I can learn. And I'm convinced that cadence is the single biggest limiter to my speed. So the question I have is, can you improve your cadence? Of course you can focus on your tempo runs and your intervals, your fart lap sessions, but can you also improve your cadence on an easy run while keeping it easy? So does Focusing on improving your cadence, speeding it up, does it drain you? Um, does it make your easy run not an easy run anymore? Anyway, just watch Ben Park's video, really motivated to go with the tips he gave to go out now and try and improve my cadence. I have to rush, I've got an appointment um, soon, so, so I shouldn't be doing this run for the fact it's a rest day and I've got an appointment. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out for a quick 35 minute run. I'm going to um, take my cadence up a couple of clicks, like the advice that Ben um, exposed on his video, and I'm going to give you a quick insight when I come back. I'm not taking you on the run with me, that's just taking the GoPro is just one thing too many. Catch up with you in two seconds after the run to let you know, can you, in this sample size of one, this quick experiment, can you um, increase your cadence, but keep it as an easy run? Right, back in a moment. Okay team, here we go, back from the run. So tail of the tape is this. Um, distance was 4.8 kilometers. Um, the average running time was 5.29, which is a little bit faster uh, than my usual easy run. Easy runs 5.45 through about six minutes. And um, as I say in my other videos, my race pace for something like three to five K, you're looking at three minutes 40, three minutes 45. Um, so that shows you the difference between my easy run and my, um, and my racing. Okay, here we go. Average heart rate 137, maximum heart rate 149. That's a little bit easier than my easy run. Usually my easy runs, Average heart rate's about 142, 143. Maximum about, well, sometimes I had a 154, 150 sort of thing. Okay. Um, cadence, now here we go. So looking at my previous data for an easy run, my cadence usually sits about the 150, uh, what's, excuse me, 155 to 158 mark. This was 167. So I'd say that's a significant difference. Still nowhere near the 180 but that is a click up on my cadence, which is usually quite slow. Now, what I did find during the run is I was a lot of up and down because I was focusing on cadence, but not distance. So I was sacrificing that stride length to keep the cadence, to keep my heart rate down, which obviously worked, right? Heart rate, for relative to me, was quite low. But um, it, it felt, it did feel different, it felt a little strange. A thought that occurred to me was if it's going to elevate my heart rate to keep my cadence up and high, that means I've got a bit of a problem because that means when it comes to racing, increasing my cadence and my stride length, both those things are going to take away from a lot of my, you know, my aerobic capacity. They're going to drain me. They're going to take away from my energy. But if I can have my cadence high, almost like running on the spot without draining the energy. That means all my energy can be dedicated to my stride length, not the turnover on my legs. I do think, and I've got no scientific data behind this, but I do think um, I find it draining to keep my cadence quite high. So when I am running at 180, 
185, which is my cadence during the races, um, I'm losing a lot of energy just because I don't have that, that um, strength endurance that my legs require to keep the cadence up for a long period of time. Even though that was only about a 26 minute run, I did find my legs were starting to tire a little bit keeping the cadence up. What I can do when I'm running, you know, 540Ks, 530, 539, 540Ks without high cadence is I can probably even slow down or reduce my stride length even further, potentially, potentially, but I can play around. Anyway, let's get to the result. It is only a sample size of one, um, but to answer the question, can you have higher than normal cadence for you and still keep it an easy run? The answer is yes, just based on that run. So I'm going to continue to try keeping my cadence high because I do want to be able to improve my cadence without it draining energy. Um, over my training runs over the next weeks, that's going to be my focus. So I'll check in every so often, let you know how that's going. Like to know your thoughts and your experiences. You know what to do. Pop them in the comments below. Hope that was helpful. Certainly was insightful for me. Um, and thanks again to Ben Parks for raising the subject matter. Really cool, cool video. Okay, got to rush. Take care team. Kakita and all.